here with you to talk about the Greek word astro and how it entered the English vocabulary. Astro, astir, asteras, and asteri are different forms of the word that Greek uses to refer initially to a natural luminous body visible in the sky, especially at night, and later, during medieval years, to a planet or a configuration of the planets that is held in astrology to influence one's destiny or fortune, in other words, destiny. Astro is also the ancestor of the English word star, which is borrowed in English mediated by Latin. Astro can be found as a prefix-like combining form, meaning related to stars, celestial bodies, and outer space, in scientific terms like astrodynamics, astrograph, astrometry, astrophysics, especially, hmm, you guessed it, astronomy. The word astronomy itself includes astro. Actually, in Greek antiquity, astronomy reached a high level of sophistication and predictive ability, especially because it was frequently regarded as a branch of mathematics. Now, astro is also found in the word astronaut, which is a compound word made from astro, star, and note coming from the Greek word naftis, meaning sailor. How poetic! Astronaut is the sailor of stars, a very nice metaphor. And talking about metaphors, astro is also sometimes used to refer to something that is star-shaped, as in astrocyte, a type of star-shaped cell in the brain and spinal cord. In some cases, it is well hidden, as in the word disaster, which includes the Latin pejorative prefix dis and the Greek word astro. The sense is astrological, of a calamity, blamed of an unfavorable position of a planet, and astro here is meant in the astrological sense of destiny, fortune, fate, we've seen before. You may compare this meaning with the English word ill start. Finally, the word asterisk is the diminutive of astro, meaning a small star. Today, asterisk is used as a special character in printing or writing.